I'm going to continue building the settings activity for our application. And all we have at the moment are the controls to turn the sound effects on and off. But what about music? We might want to add some music later, and I will do that. And to control it, instead of using radio buttons, to be different, I'm going to use a switch. Let's go and take a look at our settings, activity settings layout. And in the design view, here is, here is the switch. Let's just drag and drop that into our activity. Taking a look at the code, here's our switch. Let's label it music. And as with anything in Android, if you want to interact with it, it needs an ID. I'm going to rename this to settings music switch. And that's really all you need to do in your layout file. If we go to the settings activity class where we're controlling our settings, we need to create a handle on that new switch. So at the class level, I'm going to create a switch object, switch, and I'm going to call it music switch. And in the similar method to the buttons we've done before and to the radio buttons we've done before, we need to connect our local variable to the layout switch. So we'll just mention music switch and it's we'll cast it to switch, find view by ID, and we labeled it setting the music switch. And because we want to control the music across all of these activities, we're going to register a Boolean in the encompassing application class. So the application class that holds all of these activities and it's Droid 101 application class. In the same way we did for the sound effects. So if we go to Droid 101 application class, we want a Boolean to keep track if we want our media playing. So I'm going to call it media and we're going to, I've already picked out the music we're going to use, it's an electronic loop, so electronic loop and we want the state. Let's set some getters and setters for this boolean. So just click on your boolean, go to code, generate, getter and setter and hit OK. So now we can set the local value. Since this class we're currently in is the first one that it's our actual application, when we hit the icon and the app starts, so the onCreate method begins, I think I'd like to do the users a favor and turn the music off just in case they don't want it. So we'll just set media electronic loop state to false. So that, that will be the default state of our music. The music will be turned off. Let's go back to our settings activity. If you remember from the last tutorial, we read the state of the sound effects before we set the switch state. Well, we're going to do the same thing for the music, but using the member methods that set the music switch to either true or false. So in this case, the local music switch will be switched to the position that represents true if the overall application is true, and to false if the overall application is false. Let's see this running. Let's not mess around, let's go straight into our settings page. And here's our switch for the music. We're not detecting or handling the click at the moment. All we're doing is just looking at the position. So if we turn it on, let's exit out of the app. And if we go back in, it should be off because we've set the default currently to off. There you go. We need to set the handler for this so that it remembers and acts upon the user clicking and we'll do that in the next tutorial.